George Smith, test pilot, the only man who was ejected at supersonic speed from a low altitude and lived, is aviation medicine's most valuable man. He prepares for his first F-100 flight since the extraordinary experience. All set, George? Uh, yes, Lieutenant, but I'll have to admit I'm a little bit excited about this flight. This is my first flight in the F-100 this year. Any memories of that last flight? Yes, I can remember the flight very well up to the point I ejected. After that, my memories are blank. I guess I'm pretty lucky to be here. We're all very glad that you are too, George, especially the Air Force Aeromedics. I understand their program has been advanced by several years because of your experience, and that several scientific tests have been programmed because of it. Uh, that's right. At the Edwards Flight Test Center, for instance, personal equipment specialists fitted this dummy with identical gear that I wore. Flight suit, parachute, and helmet. This is no ordinary dummy. It cost $1,000 and is equipped with intricate instrumentation, assimilated spine, and calculated muscle tension. Dummy and seat will be ejected at 800 miles per hour, about 50 miles an hour faster than George Smith ejected. The sled will accelerate to 800 miles per hour in three seconds. Rockets total 130,000 pounds thrust. Investigation of test results begins immediately. These tests will go on until all possible data is obtained. All for the protection of pilots ejecting at supersonic speeds, as I did. Thank you very much, George, for your time and many happy landings. Right, Lieutenant. 